Have you ever thought what are the pros and cons of working in management consulting? Hi, I am on a chai break and whenever I am on a chai break, I am making these really cool videos for all of you and if you are new to my channel then I spent last 10 years working in management consulting, strategy, boutique management consulting, public policy and international affairs and on my channel I give absolutely free information about management consulting, MBA, skills and travel if you are in your 20s and in your early 30s. So feel free to hit on the subscribe and the notification button so that you are notified whenever I am bringing out a lot of free information for all of you on my channel. It's a very interesting and a well demanded video. A lot of you felt that management consulting is just painted rosy by a lot of people who have already worked. In fact, I had made a different video around the real salaries and hours. We will put up a screenshot somewhere here, so feel free to check that out. And in this video, I intend to share in as candid format the pros and cons both. If you want to know the cons, stay tuned till the end. And of course, let me know in the comment section if you want me to delve deeper into any of these points as well. So I've divided this video, of course, into pros and cons. There are eight pros that I could think of and there are four cons that I could think of. And with that, let's get started with the pros list. So the first pro that I can think uh, or the benefit I can think is surrounding yourself in intellectual environment and good projects. As a management consultant, the kind of projects that you are solving for, be it mergers and acquisitions, be it restructuring of organization, be it go-to market strategy, be it cost optimization, the kind of intellectual kick that you get is just unparalleled. Why? Because these are harder problems to solve for. Uh, had it been easier problems, then leading Fortune 500 organization and equivalent of them in India would not pay a bomb to McKinsey, BCG, Bain and many other management consulting organizations. So that's the first very good benefit of working in management consulting. The second good benefit of working in management consulting is a fantastic peer network. You are a cumulative sum or an average of the five people that you surround yourself with. In management consulting, the kind of really good quality creamy peer network group that you surround yourself with can really advance not just your IQ but also your EQ and I have always maintained the best leaders, the best managers and the best management consultants are not just those people who are high on IQ but actually interestingly are high on EQ as well. So you learn a lot every day from them, you get inspired a lot every day from them. I have lost the count of people in my last 10 years of journey who have left me actually inspired on multiple fronts, the kind of work life they had, the kind of delivery they were giving to the client, the kind of communications and presentations they were giving and I am very sure that perhaps I left a good impression on few of my peers as well and that is why of course a lot of CEOs and chairmen from McKinsey and BCG have come and taught at my education venture but that is a very good benefit, the second benefit of working in management consulting. The third benefit of course are the salaries uh, because as management consultants you are the top most creamy layer, you are working with CSOs, CEOs without taking name, I work with the chairmen and CEOs of the leading FMCG entertainment uh, and education firms in India and many others in public sector as well. The kind of salary and pay packages that you get is the topmost of the industry. If I were to quote numbers as per Glassdoor in India, the starting average salary of a management consultant is 12 lakhs per annum. I know this is a pretty good deal. Of course, this could be plus minus here and there depending upon the firm and the geography, but it's a very good starting salary right after your undergrad, which makes us talk about the fourth good benefit of working in management consulting which is that out of this really good salary you save a lot because your hotels your flights are everything taken care of you're working monday to friday typically on saturday and sundays you are just uh, relaxing with your family that means that typically you end up saving a lot when i was working in policy consulting in Dubai, I ended up saving everything. I was not paying taxes because of course Dubai is tax free. So whatever I was earning, I was able to uh, save everything largely because my expenses were taken care of. Which brings us towards the most hot topic which is largely around your hotels. So 
as a young management consultant all these things could just look very lucrative that you get to live in five star hotels the chauffeur is also there for you to be picked up from the airport because the firms at least the topmost mbb they do not want uh, the their team members to be wasting time in finding olas and ubers i know that is a meta conversation we can get into that at some other stage in our youtube video but the hotels and the lifestyle that you get could really be very relaxing but let me give a caveat to that it is pretty kick as in the initial days after a point of time the, there is a marginal utility to it to it in fact i would say a diminishing utility but in the initial days i would not want to discount the fact it just can be very relaxing um, i will of course peep into my notes because the list is huge which is around great uh, exit opportunities which is the sixth pointer so after my boutique management consulting role at age of 21 i got a really good lucrative offer to work in the uh, strategy domain of a leading e-commerce firm after bcg i got multiple offers to work in venture capital in private equity uh, the chief of staff to ceos and of course i eventually picked up the advisor role at an international affairs firm in dubai the kind of exit roles that you get is pretty unique because literally the kind of training that you go through in management consulting during the job prepares you for the best of the best roles in the industry so that is the sixth uh, benefit of working in management consulting the seventh one is uh, of course around peer network but largely around alum network today as a bcg alum i can connect with anyone based in any other part of the globe i am in serbia right now and i connected with three bcg alums here and we had a very good talk over chai um and of course when i was in mexico i met a lot of bcg alums when i was in boston i met a lot of bcg alums these bcg alums have not just helped me i have helped them in their endeavors and they have helped me in my endeavors so it's a basically a very good alum network that you become part of not just the people that you were working with but people who have worked before you in multi multiple years before you become you become part of that network which brings us towards the last pointer which is the benefit of working in management consulting that you get an exposure to wide industries uh, when i was started my career as in a boutique management consulting firm i worked in telecom industry i worked in solar industry i work in rfid industry similarly when i worked in bcg i started with an fmcg project then i moved to an it project then i moved to a wires and cables project then i moved to a public sector project then i did a media project then i did another public sector project that means that the kind of thought horizons that gets widened for you in terms of industry exposure is just innumerable you get a chance to ex uh, get exposed to a lot of interesting industry ideas so that's the end of section number 1 which is around benefits or the pros which makes us talk about a lot of cons which are four to my mind so the first uh, one of course is sleep it is a big issue especially with big management consulting firms uh, especially in the initial days you kind of go through a cultural shock because you are not used to it um i was clocking in 60 to 70 hours per week when saturday sundays were not working so this is monday to friday and this is excluding my air time when which is when i was traveling that means that on an average you might be sleeping less so management consulting is not for the light hearted i had a lot i faced a lot of struggle in the initial 4 months to just settle into the ecosystem many a times people just want to become management consultants looking at the benefit and the rosy part of it but they do not discount for the fact that there is a downside of it as well i remember a lady who had a child commented on my youtube channel that i'm looking to get into a management consulting role which pays me extraordinary but where i could get a work life balance i'm sorry that world doesn't exist in management consulting there is a saying that you over index or you optimize or you prioritize on few indexes you can't solve for everything in life you can't solve for everything in life if you are solving for good exit opportunities or opportunities or peer network and salary then you are under indexing on your sleep which makes us talk about the second downside which is high stress environment consulting is pretty stressed environment because the 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 client is paying you a bomb for you to be there on the client side every hour that you as a consultant are staying on the client side you are getting charged a bomb that means that you have to turn around the situation of the client in as quick fashion as for, as possible that means that on a weekly basis your probability to face stress is going to be high of course it depends upon the kind of managers you have the case partners you have 
good managers make sure that the stress does not trickle down to the bottom of the pyramid but many managers or many a times it's just not uh, possible by the managers as well so your ability to handle stress uh, becomes a critical factor for you to become a good management consultant which makes us talk about point number three in cons which is uh, travel many a times travel is something which is not very lucrative for a lot of people who are in their mid 30s so you're just tired of taking flights you just want to relax back home i remember that my second case in bcg was just 30 minutes drive from my home i was actually celebrating because i was tired of taking a monday 6 a.m flights and then flying back on thursday i was reaching at around 11 30 p.m uh, in night after flying back to Delhi. That means that travel after a point of time, there's a fatigue that sets in, you just get tired and that could be a big con as well. Which makes us talk about the last so drum roll in terms of the con, which is uh, for women. It's a very interesting issue. Um, it's not established as such. It is hushed, hushed. People talk about it, but it's not established as such. If you are a woman, if you are working in management consulting and imagine if you start becoming engagement manager and a partner, you earn a bomb. And in the Indian context, many a times, a lot of males could be comfortable with their females or their counterpart earning more than them. But a lot of families, a lot of males are not comfortable with females earning more, more than them. So if you are a woman or if you're a man and you're looking for management consulting for, for her, his or her wife, the woman can actually struggle with this problem of inability to find good potential groom with whom they can settle well. I got lucky on this aspect. I am married. Uh, I found the partner of my life almost uh, six years ago before uh, I got married to him. So I got lucky on that front. But that's larger context of the pros and cons of management consulting. And I've always maintained if you need more help to get into management consulting, feel free to check out my education venture, globalgovernanceinitiative.org. And that's my chai break with all of you. Let me take a sip. And if you like this video, feel free to give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so that they get to know about all the cool free information that I'm bringing out for all of you on my YouTube channel. Ciao, I'll see you very much soon.